Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, Carlos. Hello, Eric. Hello, uh, Pame. How are you all today? How are you all? It was great. Oh, okay. It was great for the weekend. Nice. Nice. Yeah, to take a, a long, long rest. Okay, okay. I'm sorry that you are here. I know it's Friday and I'm very, very sorry because you are here. You are supposed to be sleeping right now or having fun with your friends. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank uh, you. How are you, Carlos? Are you sleepy again? Oh, Carlos, he <laughs> left. Oh, Carlos left. Uh, Jonathan Guzman, welcome. How are you, Jonathan? I have uh, Brian Ulises. How are you, Brian? Pame, how are Hi. you? Hi. Good, good. Good, good. Welcome. Thanks God, it's Friday. I can say that. I can say that. Thank you. Uh, hello, Joanna Salina Gonzalez de Vanegas. Welcome. How are you, Joanna? Hello, teacher. Hello, welcome. How are you? I am fine. Thank you. Oh, and great. You? I'm great. How was your day? Okay. Very good. nice. Oh, okay, good. Reina Triguero, welcome. How are you, Reina? Okay, Reina is getting connected. Okay, Reina, how are you? Reina, I mean, oh, she left. Okay. Reina, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, hello, welcome, 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 Oscar. How are you, Oscar? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm good. Oh. And well, I came my home. Well, I went to my to my work. Well, I came to to the road in my work. Oh, okay. But thank you. Thanks God, you are back home safe. Yeah, and be careful yes. when you're driving, okay? <laughs> no, right. no, 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 I came. I came right now my home. Oh, nice. Okay, Joanna, how was yeah. your day? Yeah. Thank you, Oscar. Joanna, how was your day? Uh, my day is um, very, base, very basic. It's occupado. Okay? Busy, busy. Busy, okay. Uh, very busy and um, very traffic in the road Wait. on oh. my home. Oh. Uh, 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 pero bien. Oh, <laughs> bien. good. Uh, thank uh, you. Good, good. Okay, thank you. What about yours, Brian? Uh, Brian? El Brian? mío es Spanish English. No, that's uh, fine. Yeah. Uh, I guess okay. everyone at certain point we learned in that way, like learning, like mixing, uh, mixing both the language and Spanish and English. And the good thing is, since we are learning, I guess I don't, I don't say, I don't blame you. I don't say, hey, do not use both languages. The good thing is like, if you are eager to learn, if you are eager to learn, no matter like, no matter if you uh, use both languages. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank That's you. Good. Okay, uh, Wilmer, how are you, Wilmer? <laughs> Hello. How are good you? Good evening, everyone. I'm good fine, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Oh, okay, good, good. Brian, good, good to see you, Brian. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Nice good to evening. See you too. All right. Uh, I hope uh, I hope the other ones can join us. All right. So we are going to do something today. As you know, well, today uh, we are completing one week and we are basically um, reviewing. We are going to review this week uh, learning. Remember, section number four was about what? The present perfect, simple past, uh, also sequence adverbs. So that was basically what we were talking during this week, right? We learned how to use uh, the present perfect with since and for. Do you remember that? Yes. yes. Also, we were describing how to cook, you know, like how to uh, provide the right process to cook something that was something that you did uh, the other day. Uh, welcome, Sandra Sanchez and Neida Gonzalez. Welcome. All right. So thank you, teacher. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. All right. I know it's Friday. Uh, I know. Good evening. Okay. Um, that, so that's why the topic for today is a review. We're going to review. We're going to be doing, uh, I'm not going to uh, be 
uh, teaching you something new, we are just going to be reviewing, okay, through exercises and example. All right, so this is the agenda. Uh, we are going to have a warm up activity. Then we're going to have a uh, practice with, uh, with the present perfect and also with the sequence, uh, providing adverbs or sequence. And we're going to do a fun activity where you are going to uh, match, well, not really match, but um, but order some pictures in the right order according to what you think and according to what you see on the pictures. Okay, what is the main ob ob objective for you all today or in today's lesson? A student will be able to practice the language using simple structures to express past actions and sequence adverbs. All right, to provide, uh, I mean, to talk about previous learning, I need one volunteer. What's the difference between since and for when I'm using the present perfect? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Solo un voluntario, no se me peleen, por favor. <laughs> Can I say is um, the difference is when you use since is a mm -hmm. specific time, and when you use a for is a period of time. Good. When I use since, I use it with a starting point, okay, or with some when something begins, right? When something starts, and when I use for. I use it for a period of time, ¿ok? Mm -hmm. Ok, en lo más importante es que, por ejemplo, hay unas time expressions que me dicen eso. Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, si estoy utilizando for, puede ser for two days, for a week, for two years, for a decade, for ten years, etc. For an hour. Y el otro since puede ser me di fechas específicas. Por ejemplo, since, uh, since last Friday, since yesterday, since 2021, since last month. Okay, good. Thank you. So you already know the difference between since and for. Good. All right, so we are gonna do a funny activity. Have you ever played charades? Have you ever played charades? No, no, well, yeah. no, I yeah. think that not. No, okay, Let so, me see. so charade. What is charade? We are ah, gonna it's that. like mimica. Yeah, miming, yeah. We're gonna play the game with your classmate. Think, uh, you are going to think about one word in English, not in Spanish, okay, in English. And mime it. Your classmates are going to guess the word in English, okay? So I'm going to be the first one. I like to be the first one. I'm going to be my me doing some movements and you need to guess what I'm doing or what object I'm trying to say. But I'm go we are going to choose like a specific topic or, or whatever. It could be any topic you want. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me, okay, let me take off my background so that you can see my hands when they, they are not inside my body, like in here. Uh -huh. Okay, let me see, let me see, none. none. Okay, all right, there you go. So I'm going to start with the first one and the first one is, okay, listen. Shoes. There you go. Very good. Okay, good, Pame. So you're next. Okay. Uh -huh. Pame. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Hmm. What is that? Ah, that's easy. Anyone who can guess? What is it? Driver. Yeah. Uh, right. Okay, good. Okay, uh, Wilmer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're doing it? <laughs> Overthinking? <laughs> oh. Saving your... <laughs> bull! What is that? A, a bull. 
Abu. Abu, B U L L. <laughs> What is that? Can, can you guess? Va, por favor, los otros quiero que ayuden a, a guess, a adivinar qué es lo que. Chivo What Wallet! Is... Chivo Wallet? <laughs> Chivo, wait, wait, wait. Huh? <laughs> That's good, that's good. Chivo what? what? Wow, that was a good one. Okay, good, good, good. good you are very creative. You are very creative. Okay, next, next. Who is next? Next. Hello, tengo mucho acá. Uh -huh. Wait. What, 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 what? Uh -huh. You were singing uh, Borja or what? what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I have to choose uh, Eric. <laughs> okay, Eric, Eric Abarca. Uh -huh. Eric, are you there, Eric? Yeah, I'm here. Uh, okay, so show us. Um... Well, I'm thinking, let me see. Mm -hmm. Oh, brush. Brush your hair. Come. Look into the mirror. Yeah. Look into yeah. the mirror. Okay, good. Yeah. Eric, I mirror. Just, good, good job. Okay, next. Who is next? Mm -hmm. Who's next? I had I have to pick up someone. Yes, for the ones who have not participated. Let me see. Joanna. <laughs> Oscar Castillo. <laughs> Oscar Castillo. Oscar. Me teacher voluntary. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Go ahead, Joanna. Mm -hmm. Okay. I told you. Okay. Ah, very creative. China one. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <China work. laughs> oh, China work. Okay, good. Okay, Joanna, choose one of your classmates. Good job. Choose I'm one of your classmates. Okay. Who uh, wants to be Reina. Reina. Reina Trigueros. Creo que Reina se fue. Dijo no, que se iba. no, she's there. No, she's there. Es que creo que hubo un mensaje oh, en el chat. Is that silent or what? Reina. Ne Eneida. Sí. Oh. Eat. Okay. Eat. She left. Reina, eat. Reina left. Teeth? Good. Oh, teeth. What, what is that? Can you help me oh, out? No. Solo okay. yo estoy adivinando. Help He, me, help me. She is eating pupusas. Pupusas? With cortido. <laughs> Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. <laughs> again, no, again. No. Pull them again. Ayuda, yeah. ayuda, help, help. Eating yuca. Yuca? Eat. Eat. Having breakfast, lunch, dinner. Mm. Uh, cereal. Eating mango verde. Oh, you mean like brush, <laughs> brush your teeth? Brushing your teeth? Soup. Soup. Eating soup. Make other time. I don't. Soup. Oh, okay. Chicken soup, eating chicken soup. Okay, good. For the soul. Okay, Eneida, thank you. Thank you, Reina. Eneida, your turn. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dancing. Dancing, Eneida. Very easy. <laughs> Swimming. Uh, Oscar Castillo, Oscar. Oscar. Oscar, are you there, Oscar? Okay, good, Oscar. Okay. Mm -hmm. Silent. Oh, no. Ronaldinho. No, es Messi. Que, como... TikTok. Ben. ben. Messi. Ben. Messi. <laughs> Who? Oh, is a person? Is a person? Ah. Who? Bohemia. It's the music. Fortnite. <laughs> oh, a DJ. A DJ. A DJ. Yeah, <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. 
Okay, uh, let me see, uh, go. Carlos. Okay, good. Thank you, Oscar. A good one. Carlos, are you there, Carlos? Okay, okay. Can you do it? Okay, here we go. Oh. Cut your hair. Cut. Uh-huh, cut. Cut your hair. Haircut. 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 Okay, <laughs> good, thank you. Okay, um, well, what is, uh, I saw Brian over there. But Brian. Okay, he left. Okay, good. Thank you so much. Uh, that was funny. Uh, uh, that was funny. Thank you for uh, doing it. I know sometimes, it's, you know, it's Friday and then it's time sometimes to relax. Right, Pame? Okay. Right. <laughs> okay, good. All right. So, uh, as I said before, uh, we are going to review today learning, and really, I'm not going to go in deep with the topic, the simple past tense, but it's very important that you remember how to do it and how to ask questions with the simple past, all right? Uh, look at the example. Uh, I have a very, um, a very simple chart where you can um, see how it goes with a simple pre simple pass uh, if you are using uh, in a positive, negative, or a question. For example, if I have a simple pass sentence and I want to use it uh, in a positive way, you know, I need the subject, the verb, which is the, it needs to go in simple past plus the object. For example, he played football. He ate pupusa. He went to San Salvador. He visited San Miguel. He spoke very well, etc. Right? So that's the simple, uh, that's the positive. In the ne negative way, don't forget that, that I need to use the, the auxiliary verb did. Right? Auxiliary verb did. To express what? To express past actions in negative. For example, he did not play football. See, he did not play football. He didn't play football. All right, and don't forget this. I know you know it, but this, as I said, I'm just going to uh, review today this one. Remember, if you are using did, did not, el verbo no cambia, el verbo is the same, right? Okay? Yes. Okay, yeah. good, good. Yeah. There is no change, why? Because the deed uh, provides or tells us that the verb is in simple past. Simple like that. However, when we are using what? When we are using um, a question, just not question, for example, uh, the structure is the following. Did plus subject plus bay form plus object. Look at the example. Did he play football? The same thing. Nothing happened to the verb. Why? Because I already have the auxiliary verb did. Remember, every time you see a, an, uh, uh, the auxiliary verb did, the verb does not suffer, I would say suffer, a change. <laughs> we don't change anything in the verb. Okay. Have you ever, have you ever seen the following expression. Look at the chat. Have you ever seen that expression? Have you ever seen that? Or oh, not really that sentence, but the same structure. Yes. Yes? Yes. Well, yeah. that's, that's wrong. No, I didn't. I I didn't. It's not, not wrong, uh, Borja. It's not wrong. Mm -hmm. Okay, for example, imagine Why? somebody. Okay, in, in imagine past, some. Uh -huh. Imagine. In the past positive, you have to <laughs> use uh, the particle ed. No. Okay, yeah, let me explain. Let me, let me give you the full context so that you can see that that expression is not wrong. Imagine somebody is arguing with you, he's telling you. Hey, Wilmer, you didn't go to school. You didn't do anything. You didn't go to school. You went to the mall. And they say, I did go to the school. So when you use that expression, it's because you are emphasizing. I did go to the school. 
Imagine somebody, so uh, alguien le dice, mira, you didn't do anything. I did open the book. <laughs> I did attend the meeting. It doesn't for mean- emphasis, but I, but For emphasis, but I can say, uh, I went to school, yeah. I went to school, yeah. Yeah, I went to school, but the thing is, when you say I went to school, okay, I'm not saying that I went to school is wrong. I'm just saying that there are two different ways. If you add did to your sentence, to the first, to a past action, you are providing extra emphasis. Como que, es como que en español decimos, yo sí fui a la escuela. Yo sí fui a la escuela. Uh -huh. uh, en vez de decir, yo fui a la escuela. ¿sí? So, I did. Cuando le agregan ese, I did, you are providing an extra emphasis on your sentence. Uh -huh. okay. It's the same, simple person. <laughs> It's the same, yeah. I do study a lot. See, I do. Okay, good question. I mean, good I uh, do comment. Study a lot. I do study a lot. Sí. Es lo mismo. I do study a lot. Y no es que diga yo, ¿cómo así? Yo hago, estudio mucho. ¿Cómo así? No entiendo. No, 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 no. The do, el do que ustedes ven ahí, it's an auxiliary verb. I don't need it. But when I add it, It means what? It means that I'm providing extra emphasis on what I'm saying. Okay? Okay? Si yeah. alguna vez ustedes quieren hacer un extra emphasis, pueden agregar el did y pueden agregar el do, depending on the sentence you are using. All right. Good. Um, that was a, um, a point that I want to share with all of you. All right. So I have a question. I have a question here. And I would like to hear from all of you. What did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? No, no, no. You know what? Let's make it uh, funnier or more interesting. And tell me, what did you do last Christmas? What did you do last Christmas? Hmm? Okay. Mm -hmm. But I say um, I did eat much tamales. Could I say that? Please. Wilmer. Your microphone is off, um, Wilmer. Okay, okay. Okay, anyone else? What did you do last Christmas? Think about it. Open your mic and tell me. Mm -hmm. Well, in my case, I went to visit my family in the countryside in the day at night. Where? When? Where? Where in the countryside? Where? Where? Sacatapaluca. Mm, okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. at, at night, uh, we were um, listening to music and we were eating something, but in the moment we were uh, giving some gift or present. I received a perfume and I gave um, a shirt or, blow or, or, or blues, something like mm -hmm. that, yeah. It was very interesting. And well, I grew up there, but I moved to San Salvador And after more than 15 years, I come back there again uh, in that celebration. Good, thank you. Thank you for sharing, uh, Eric. Welcome, Walter. Welcome, Cristobal. Welcome, Osmael. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. So, thank you, teacher. Good evening, good evening. No, no, that's fine, that's fine. Good evening. Yeah, so yeah. My question, my question is- You can say uh, that, you... you can say that, Wilmer. You can say that when you are providing, especially uh, if you, If you give a certain number of, of tamales that you ate, that will provide more emphasis. Like, really? Something like that. Like, I did eat 20 tamales with pollo. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, si era un tamales de, de, de pato, right? Or tamales de jolote. <laughs> yeah, it depends. Delicious. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> Thank you, Eric, for sharing about your experience, about your last uh, Christmas. Uh, somebody else. What do you do last, last Christmas? I went with my family to, ma to the mass. 
and then we have dinner together and share some fun moments during the year that okay. happened to each other. Oh, sweet. Thank you. Good. That was a good example. Someone else. Come on, don't be shy. We are reviewing today the simple past. That's what we're doing now. Reviewing simple past. We should talk more. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, that's true. <laughs> Hello. Okay. My case. Uh -huh. that's all right. No, that's In my okay. case, I, my case, I helped to my wife to cook the turkey. Hmm. Yeah. That sounds very. It's cook or bake. Delicious. Uh, the, it depends. What kind of what kind of uh, turkey do you have? Ah, okay. Yeah, in this I mean, case, cook. Yeah. Uh, cook. Cooked a lot. It would be like. Mm, like a stew yeah oh, like a stew, stew. yeah ah, okay okay yeah so that would be cooked because bake is what you put in the oven and then you give yeah. it like a certain okay yeah yeah mm -hmm. good uh all right what else what else let me see sandra sanchez sandra are you there sandra sandra what the difference between Christmas and Christmas Eve. Oh, good question. Who has yeah. the answer? Who has the answer? Anyone? That, okay. Christmas Eve is 24 in the afternoon and Christmas is 25 all day. Ah. Yes. Oh. And there is a confusion because we believe when somebody asks about Christmas, you think about the 24th, December mm -hmm. the 24th, yeah. and Christmas is not December the 24th. That is Christmas Eve. Vispera de Navidad. Yeah, Vispera de Navidad. Christmas Eve. Uh -huh. And Christmas is el 25. Mm -hmm. December the 24th. Last, last Christmas. When everybody is bang. What? Last Christmas, I taught my mother-in-law that I want to eat chicken tamales, and she gave me a lot of um, tamales, and they got me for January too. <laughs> okay, so I have a question, Wilmer. Uh, originally, where are you from? Cartagena de Indias. Uh, is that where is that exactly located? Colombia. Costa oh. Caribe. Okay, Caribbean. So, okay, how long have you been living here in El Salvador? Uh, living 10 years old. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, good. So you said, I mean, not your stepmother, but your mother-in-law cooked you some tamales. Huh? Yeah. Okay, good. All right. So, Oscar, what do you think, Oscar? Uh, what do you do last Christmas? Well, I did eat a lot chicken. <laughs> chicken. But no, the day I passed with my family in my home, and then we celebrate the with my sobrinos. I remember using it. Yeah, there we go. And well, it was fun. And well, and then. Um, final end of the year. Well, uh, it was the same thing, but it was great. Oh, nice, nice. Thank you, Oscar. Okay, Oscar. Um, when we say, like, for example, um, I got when you said, right, I pass my time with my family. You meant I stayed with my family because pass is like, for example, um, for example, this is my wallet. I'm going to pass it. I'm going to pass it to. To Wilmer, all right, Wilmer. So I'm going to pass it, okay. But yeah. if you are like with my family, uh, nosotros decimos verdad. Oh, me pasé tiempo con mi familia. Decimos nosotros en español, but in English is I stay with my family. Why watch with my family? Mm -hmm. okay, we can okay. say spending time. I spend time with my family too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Let me see in the chat. Uh, Yes, but I have, okay, okay. That's okay, Sandra Sanchez. Okay, that's okay. All right, so let's move Christmas, on to- On um, Christmas, I learned a new word and um, that is fashionable in USA. 
YOLO. Oh, <laughs> yes. Does anybody know, does anybody else know what YOLO means? YOLO. 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 No. No. YOLO. What is that? YOLO. You YOLO. all. No, no. I love you. YOLO. <laughs> no, no. YOLO. 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 Does anybody else know besides no. uh, Wilmer? No. I don't remember. It's an acronym. That yeah. is an, oh, yeah. You only live once. You only live ah, once. Right. YOLO. Yeah. You only live once. I thought about that when I jumped, uh, when I practiced skydiving, I thought about that. Well, YOLO. Yeah. I only live once. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, I was I was when, not married. I was not married. That's why probably I when, thought about where did you it. did that, teacher? Uh, that was um, that was let me see, uh, like two three years ago. Mm -hmm. But where? Where it was in Massachusetts? No, 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 no. Wait, wait, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I don't. I wouldn't do it right now. I guess I wouldn't do it. Where Dracula anymore. live? Huh? Where Dracula live? <laughs> In Pennsylvania, it might be. Yeah, I didn't. See. <laughs> Not there, Pennsylvania. Dracula. I uh, Dracula. Yeah. Um, okay. Dracula. Let's move on. Yeah. All right. So let's. Teacher, it's hotel. too much. It's too much to ask how it is. I mean, how much is is the cost of doing that? Over there, it was three hundred and fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. And then okay. if you want to have like a recording, if you want to have uh, some, nosotros, ¿cómo le decimos en español? Le llamamos piquetes. Uh -huh. Si quieres hacer ciertos piquetes. So uh, that would be uh -huh. more expensive. That would be like $500. Uh -huh. Okay. But of course, you got to sign up something where you say, okay, I let them. If I die, day. it's if my I fault. If I die, they are not responsible. I'm a fool. That's what I do that. <laughs> no. It's worth it. It is worth it. Yeah, I would. I guess if I were not married, I would do it again. I would do it again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. But no, now, no, I don't, I, I don't, I don't want to do it anymore. Well, I would like to do it, but it's kind of um, risky. But since I like uh, adventure and that was one of my bucket lists. So now mm -hmm. it's like, okay, I did it. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So let's move on to the next uh, review. Present perfect. I'm not going to uh, stay a lot of time with this topic because the last couple of days we have been working with that, asking, providing, um, yes, no questions and asking, have you ever, have you, um, for example, have you ever seen Titanic movie? Have you ever seen Titanic? Yes. Yes, yes, I have. I feel so happy. That's one movie. <laughs> yes, teacher. I remember, I remember. I used to cry a lot when I used to see that the movie. Romantic. <laughs> oh, I was like, oh my gosh, that is very hard. That was my heart. And my heart was broken when I saw the guy. And then he went to the <laughs> I deep. wonder when Jack is painting. <laughs> yeah. Painting rose. Uh, the same happened. Have you ever watched um the the... The movie, uh, The Lion, what is it? The Lion, The Lion, yeah, The King Lion, yeah, The King Lion, yes. Uh, the Lion King. Yeah. And the, is that The Lion King? I don't, know. The Lion what? King. I don't even know the name in, in English. Uh -huh. Lion the Lion King. King. Yeah. Lion King. Have you ever I... watched that movie? Yeah. I watched, yes, I, I have. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Only one. <laughs> uh, that one was another one that it was very touchy, you know, touchy mean like, oh, oh my gosh, that was very sentimental. Uh huh. It was like, oh, that's so sad. Okay. You, your mm -hmm. emotion. Are uh, very emotional. Yeah, that's kind of those movies are very emotional. All right. When we um when we express um actions that are not completed in the past or happened in the past and they are still continue, uh, continuing in the present, uh, we sometimes use the present perfect. For example, I have played soccer. For example, I have played soccer. It doesn't mean that I don't play soccer anymore. I ju I'm just saying that I play soccer. I have played soccer, right? Or for example, uh, we have uh, we have been in Guatemala. We have been in Guatemala. Did I, uh, do I mean that I'm not going to go there anymore? No, I'm just saying no. that. I'm just saying that in the past, I have done that before, right? Or, for example, um, imagine, imagine I ate um, uh, a squirrel. Do you know what a squirrel is? Squirrel. 
An okay. animal? The animal. Ardilla. Ardilla. Uh -huh. ah, imagine uh -huh. I say, I have eaten squirrel. ¿Acaso digo que ya no voy a comer más squirrel? ¿O que solo comí una sola vez? I don't say that. I'm just saying that I have eaten squirrel. Okay? So the same happened with present perfect. All right? Keep in mind that when you are asking or, or uh, referring somebody else, if it is he or she on it, vamos a utilizar que? Has. Okay? For example, Pamela, right? Uh, okay. He, uh, she has worked the entire day. See? She has worked the entire day. Let me see another one. Uh, he, okay. Uh, for example, Oscar, he has driven, okay, for a lot of time, okay? All right, and etc. All right, so I have a question here that I would like you to think about it. What have you done so far? Mm -hmm. It does a general question. What have you done so far in your life? Okay, what have you done so far? I wouldn't say, no me gustaría ponerle, verdad, que han hecho, what have you done so far with your life? Because I believe you have done a lot. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. But it, it, it has to be a thing that we... No, it's in be general, many done. things that you've done before. For example, if you ask me that question, I would say, what have you done so far? Well, I have uh, visited a lot of countries. I have eaten crazy food. I have uh, tried um, a very typical food from Peru, for example. I have uh, studied uh, another language. See, I'm just saying general things that I have done so far in my life or with my life. Okay? okay. Para eso, le voy a dar cinco minutos. Uh, no, not really five minutes. Like three minutes, I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms. And please, I would like you to use present perfect, okay? Present perfect structure about things with your life. No me van a decir, no, teacher, yo present no he hecho perfect. nada con mi vida. Yo no he hecho nada, teacher. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> okay? Okay? So, remember, use the present perfect, okay? Okay? I have, I have, or oh, I haven't. Some things that you, that you would like to do, but you haven't done it yet okay i'm going to send you to the breakout rooms you will add in there uh rooms a very small room so that you have chances to speak okay the uno a uno que vayan de uno a uno okay uh so here six okay the pareja okay Anna, uh, your classmate, I don't know where your classmate is. So, yeah, so that's what I came because you were alone. <laughs> alone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, Joanna, what have you done um, so far? What have you done so far? Okay. Um, I I have worked um, on the uh, 6 p.m. Okay. Uh, I, I have uh, had for it, yuca <laughs> for dinner. Oh, okay. For that one, you you can say, for example, I I have eaten yuca, and that's it. I have eaten okay. yuca. Mm -hmm. What else? Yuca frita. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. I have uh, studied uh, English. Mm. Uh, I have uh, driven of stressing. <laughs> okay. Okay. I am necessary. <laughs> uh, I have. Um, okay, uh, what do you want to say in, the, in Spanish? What, what do you want to say in Spanish? Uh, graduate of university. Oh, wait, wait. You got... Uh, ¿Usted se graduó? I have, o ¿Usted fue? Uh, ¿O cómo fue? ¿Cómo fue en español? ¿Cómo diría? Uh, me he graduado. Oh, oh, I have graduated. Mm -hmm. 
Great, okay. I have grad uh, of uh, graduated, university. Graduated, graduated. Mm -hmm. Graduated. Como graduado, ajá, en español es graduado, en inglés es graduated. Mm -hmm. Graduated, okay. Ah, yeah. uh, uh, of, um, uh, of uh, administration. Oh. Uh, uh, I have uh, married. Okay, good. That's good. All right. Okay. okay, I'm going to send you to another room because I'm going to be checking the other rooms and la voy a agregar a otro, a another room, okay? Perfect, okay, okay. thank you, Fisher. Okay, Joanna, I'm going to send you to room number six, okay? Okay. Go over there. Mm -hmm. Favorite bank, I love Banco Agricola. Yeah. Yeah, I hate the other ones. I work in a bank. bank. A, you work in a bank. bank. You work yeah. in a bank, Pamela. No, uh, Walter. Me. Oh, so he's a rich man, okay? Hmm. Oh my God! <laughs> you know, people who work in banks, they're very rich. <laughs> no, teacher. <laughs> By yeah. any chance. <laughs> I'm a partner. I'm a par partner. Of uh, one, bank. No, it's like <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, okay. Uh, so, um, I'm sorry to interrupt you. You can continue talking, okay? I'm just oh, okay, I'm just checking the, the, and, the I, and I eat the famous Chamfina Morasan. Ah, good, yeah, English. I want to improve my life, I want to improve my income. And that is very important sometimes when you want to do all that, you have to know or you have to learn about English. And yeah. other thing, I, I have played soccer, but I haven't played soccer like a, a professional player. player. Okay. Yeah. Why? Because sometimes we don't have opportunities to do it. Because you cook first, you know. Yeah. And, and then, yeah. well, that's it. <laughs> yeah, I would like to go to, to the leaf. I know that you visit many countries. I would like to do it too. But to be honest, I would like to go, I would like to go to the leaf because it has a good beat, good city, and it has heard that it shares five minutes. It's possible that time is over in this moment. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Okay. <laughs> we hope for the, come back to the principal room. Okay, okay. Um, I noticed like when you had chances like to have- um, Come on, one... teacher, I cut my inspiration. Yes, oh. I was. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I, I thought you had enough time. I like to talk <laughs> no, and don't talk. Worry, and talk. Don't worry. Okay, good. I could hear like very what good interactions. Doing, Walter? Who that man back you? Uh -huh. So, <laughs> okay, so welcome, welcome back uh, to the main room. I really appreciate when you guys talk and speak a lot. So I hope that you had a chance to talk. All right, so welcome. Yes. And I guess that's the opportunity. That's the only opportunity you have uh, to interact with one and one, and one. All right, because sometimes, sometimes um, I have students who are shy, like in the main room, they are like, mm -hmm. no, but then when they are sent to small breakout rooms, they are very interactive, they are very engaged, um, participating, and that's good, okay? All right, so we are going to move on because we have 15 minutes to go and then we are over, I mean, we are done. Um, let me continue with, uh, with my presentation, all right? All right, uh, as I was saying and as I asked at the beginning of the class uh, regarding, regarding the difference between foreign scenes, or since in four, you said that I use scenes with a starting point, right? Scenes, and then for example, uh, for example here, since 2012. However, I, oh, on the other hand, I use four for what? I use four 
for a period or duration of time. Okay, a duration of time, a period of time. So that's the difference between since and and for. All right, next. Uh, when we are, when we want to, um, we want to express a sequence. It's very important that we include sequence adverbs. Whenever we are writing, providing uh, explanation or providing steps to uh, people. That's why sequence adverbs are connecting words that show the order of steps in a process or events in a story. Look at the presentation, look at the look at the slide that I have. I have here, like for example, how to um, how to eat something very good. Look first, mix the Nutella and banana together, then toasts the slices of bread. Next, spread the mixture of toasts. After that, put the sandwich in the pan with butter. And finally, fry the sandwich. I don't know if you know what food is that one, but that's a good one. Sandwich mm -hmm. the banana. <laughs> with Nutella. <laughs> it looks like French toasts. Have you ever eaten uh... French toasts? It's kind of that. Similar yeah. to that. Yeah. Oh, and that's very good. All right. So as you can see, when we use sequence adverbs, they provide us a better idea of what happens first, what happens second, and so on. Just imagine, imagine we didn't have or we don't include sequence adverbs in that story. It wouldn't make any sense because it would be like that. See? Like that. See? Mix the Nutella and banana Mixing together. Mix the Nutella and banana together. And imagine it, uh, it wouldn't have any You sense. can say it like this. Yeah, you can say that, but uh, yeah. it's better and it's, uh, mm -hmm. I would say, more formal and polite to include a sequence adverbs. For that reason, we are going to do the next activity. All right. And I want to, I want you to use your imagination or your creativity because i know you are very creative all right as you can see right here i have one two three four five pictures dun, dun, dun. i have five pictures they are not Mommy. in the they are uh, they are they are not in the right order okay i will give you five minutes please five minutes uh, and I would like you to order the pictures. What happens first, what happens second, and so on. And please tell me the story, what happens in the story. Okay, is that clear? Yes? Yes. So, lo primero que tienen que hacer es ordenar la historia. And then write or tell me a, a tell me the story using adverb i mean sequence adverbs mm -hmm. okay think about it look at the pictures and tell me what happens first and then second and then so on okay está claro eso is that clear yeah. yes yeah. yes yes okay The king says in this oh, table. Uh, wait, 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 Wilmer. Okay, no, don't start, Wilmer. Wait, wait. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Wilmer. <laughs> Emotion. I know, I know, <laughs> I know. I, I don't understand, teacher. Oh. The history. I, no. I can order the pictures. I mean, pueden ordenarla the way you think it is. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, I think it's this one, and then the other one, and then the other one. I'm just thinking uh, about your imagination. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm.
Ok, ¿ya estamos? No, yet, teacher. Ok, hurry up, please. ¿Hay alguna duda o pregunta? ¿Any question or, or doubt? No. Okay, are we ready? Mm -hmm. Un minuto más. One, one more minute. Okay, all right. remember that you are going to use sequence adverbs telling the story. Okay, time's up. All right, so thank you. I want to hear um, volunteers. What should I choose? Should I choose? Hello? Is Borja there? wants to be. Hmm? Borja wants to do it. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you, Wilmer. Wilmer, <laughs> tell me. Tell me what is first, what is second, and so on. Well, the first, the king said, mm -hmm. in this table, um, they eat pupusas revueltas or beans with cheese. After, <laughs> after that, <laughs> after that, the king says, nobody asks for cheese. Okay. Uh, those are for ladies. And <laughs> continue. One's gonna say, <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. What? So which one is first? Which one is first? Tell me what, what first. picture you think is first. First the king and other people are in the table. Okay, this and one. They keep that. This one, right? Uh -huh. At okay. this table, they eat pupusas revueltas uh -huh. or bean uh -huh. with cheese. Uh -huh. Nobody asks for cheese, right? Okay. okay. Uh -huh. Well, the the second one is um, where there are three, three persons three talking. Persons. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one of those um, says, "Give me one of cheese with um, <laughs> how saying apple, Gar garlic, 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 garlic. Yeah. guy bars, a guy bar." <laughs> 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 and the king furious and I throw up the window. And finally the king, the the king says, I told you. Okay. Okay, that does that, that makes when that makes sense. Okay, good. Thank you, Wilmer. Next. Next, next. Could be me, me. Yeah, okay, okay. Well done. Okay. First. The king have a uh, thought about this person. He, he felt so bothered about this person. Second, the king met and sent several person to find a uh, this person, the first person. Then this person find this man and fight in a bar with him. Finally, finally, uh, finally, this person throw out for the windows and cut uh, uh, the person and present to the king again. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Good. Thank you. Thank you, Walter. Next, somebody else. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Me Next. Too. Okay. Go, go, go. Me, 
me thinking thing is curious. What do I do? He will throw me out the window. <laughs> what? 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 Say it again. Hello. Hello. Okay. Can you say it one more time? No la escucho. Está ahí todavía. Hola. Okay. Uh, okay, but thank thank you, Reina. Thank you for your um, participation. <laughs> thank you so much. Next. 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 Can I do it? Yeah. Okay, go ahead, Pami. I think that the first chart is the one that King uh, speak with the other guys and mm. he is telling, we are going to the war. Are you ready? <laughs> the second chart is here when the people is talking. The first one says, I have a compromise. The second one says, yes, we can do it, King. And the third one says, I am a Pacific person. The third chart is this one, the first, uh, that one, and the king gets mad with that people, that person, because king is a the king is a water warrior, so he throw this man through the window. <laughs> and the one that in the beginning said, "I have a compromise," is looking what happens to the other one that was that didn't want to participate in the battle. Wow, good, good. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow, good imagination. <laughs> good. One more person. Una persona más. Okay, thank you. One, one more person. Mm -hmm. One more person. Can I say? Yes, yes, yes. Me, teacher. Okay, go, right. go, go. Mm -hmm. uh, in the right, left, the right side, well, the king said, who stole my king shirt? I think you was made. You made. And the second is in the left side. One said, me no. And the second, we need to found and kill him. And the third, he said, I made, but he don't, he don't, or he can't, he can't kill me. And then the, the, the up is he he's feel well stronger angry <laughs> and the and the <laughs> he don't comprehend and oh. then and then he is ah <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and the final in the final whoa it was counter comfortable that chair but mom dad please help me. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I liked your stories. Okay. Um, time is over. Uh, I hope uh, we practiced the language that we uh, basically we worked on this week. We practiced with simple past, present perfect, and also sequence adverbs, which was basically uh, the different topics that we covered during this week. Okay, so next um, next Monday, we are going to start section number five. And remember, we are going to be finishing the module on what? On Thursday. So, Thursday. Yeah, Thursday, exactly. So uh, we'll, I hope you had a great night. Sleep tight. I will see you on Monday. Have a great weekend, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. you too. Have a nice weekend, Thank everybody. You. Take care. Bye. Bye.